guys, welcome back to the last day of 31 Days of Halloween. I cannot believe that it's Halloween already, so first and foremost, happy Halloween! If you're new to my channel, 31 Days of Halloween is where I post a new costume makeup tutorial every day in October, with a few exceptions. Okay, I've missed a couple of days. Make sure to subscribe. Throughout the year, there will be a lot more special effects makeup tutorials and beauty tutorials as well. Today for Halloween, I wanted to do something that you can do with the products you have at home last minute. Simple, but really fun, so you can still be in the spirit of Halloween, but you don't need a costume. I wanted to do something quintessentially Halloween themed, so here we have almost all of the Halloween elements. A black cat, spider web, creepy tree, gravestone, bat, and the moon. To see how I did this Halloween inspired eye art makeup look, stay tuned! I started off by mapping out the shape of where I wanted my cut crease moon eyelid to be. I used a blue for this, but I ended up going over it with yellow in the end. I then take a black shadow and run it right along the edge of that moon shape that we just made on our mobile lid. After getting the shape mapped out, I put a white paint all over the top of my lid. For this, I'm using the Make It Forever Flash Palette. You can use any sort of white base that you have, like NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, or any sort of white base like the Tarte one. After that, I set it with a translucent powder. Then using that same small detailed brush and some more black shadow, I run it right along the outside, smoking it out to make a cut crease. You'll see me switching between blending brushes through all of these steps just to get a really blown out crease area. Then taking a yellow and white mixed, I make the base color for the moon. After the base color is down, I also pat on some more translucent powder. Then I wanted the blank space area of my eye above the moon to be blue because I wanted it to signify the sky. So I take some blue eyeshadow and smoke it out right above the cut crease moon that we made. Deepening the colors as we get closer to the edge of the moon, I take a deeper blue color and a smaller pointed pencil brush and run it right along the very edge of that moon. And of course, always grabbing a blending brush and blending it out. I get deeper and deeper with the blue colors as I go, ending on a very, very dark blue. Then taking a gray shade and patting it on top of the moon to make the little shapes that you see when you look at the moon in the sky. It doesn't really translate at the end, but you can kind of see what we were going for. Then taking a very fine pointed eyeliner. You can use any liquid liner or a felt tip liner for this. I'm using the Tarte felt tip liner. I am making a little tree. So starting from the inner corner of my eye, extending all the way up past the front of my eyebrow, and then making little branch shapes. You can see how they are, one line, and then branching off of each of the tips. My tree is relatively sparse, but you can make this as big or as little as you want. I'm gathering inspiration from a lot of makeup looks that I've seen online. This is not a completely original idea. I've seen a lot of different makeup artists recreate this. I am taking inspiration from pictures I've seen from Pinterest, from Tal Peleg, I think that's how you say her name. Again, this is not a completely original idea. I'm not copying anyone's specific look for this, but again, I have seen eye art looks like this all over the internet, so I just wanted to do my take on it. After making the tree, the very front of the brow, I add a very intense winged liner that extends quite far from my eye. I intend to put a little gravestone coming off of the wing. And for all the black so far, I'm using the exact same felt tip liner. I extend that line all the way in to the very corner of my eye, meeting up with the base of the tree trunk. I then deepen on the very outer edges of the moon, fading up into the cut crease. Then using that same liquid liner, and a very, 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 very carefully fine hand, I draw a little bat. You can look at a reference photo for this so that you can see kind of how bats are shaped. It's very tiny and not so easy to do because this is the point where you realize just how shaky your little hands really are. Mine does not look perfect by any means, but it's obviously clear what it is, and that was the whole point, just for it to be clear what's going on. You got the two little pointy ears, the pointed down bottom, and then the little bat wings that flip up. Fill in the entire thing with that same black liquid liner. I'm so sorry, this is out of focus. It's very hard to stay in focus when I'm this close to the camera. Then I took a white cream paint, which is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, but again, you can use that same, any of the same base that you put down on your eyelids, you can use for the gravestone. And then I just used a little pointed domed brush 
and flicked it up into the shape of a little headstone. I then took a little gray shadow and flicked it along the edges of it and then lined the gravestone in black. I also wrote RIP in it in black and then made little blades of grass coming up next to it. Like it said, a little graveyard. I then filled in my brow with the same black liquid liner pencil. Then off of the top of my eyebrow, I wanted a little kitty cat peeking over the top. This is inspired from Tal Peleg and the cat eye looks that she's done in the past. Normally hers come off of her cut crease, but I wanted mine above my brow. As you can see, I just create a little half circle shape and then two pointed ears coming up off the top. You'll see me paint on two little yellow eyes and then go over the top of them because I was not happy with the product that I used. Initially I used a cream paint, but then I switched to a liquid liner from NYX. Next to the kitty, I put a little tail coming up, just in a little S curve. And then you see me here filling in the eyes with a yellow liquid liner. These are the NYX Vivid Brights liners. And then I put a small little black line in the middle of each of the eyes for little kitty cat eyes. Again, my work is not perfect, but you get the idea. I then took the green liquid liner and put little dots of it next to the gravestone to look like little grass. No Halloween look is complete without a little spider web. So I made a little spider web on the inner corner of my eye from the tree connecting to the cut crease and my brow. We all know how to do the traditional spider web shape. You can see here just the lines and curves in between each line just like you learned in the second grade. I then popped on a layer of mascara and some false lashes. For these lashes, I am using Coco Lashes in Goddess. I then run some of that same blue shadow underneath my lower lash line. I then threw in a white mesh camo eyes contact and that is it for this Halloween inspired eye look. I know it's super simple, but I wanted to do something very easy for people that just wanted to some do something fun on Halloween. I have had so much fun doing these videos for you guys. I'm so sorry I missed a few, but I did my absolute best and we ended off the month with 27 tutorials out of 31, which I'm pretty proud of. If you guys want to see the tutorials that I've done previously to this, check out my playlist on 31 Days of Halloween. Also make sure to subscribe because there will be a ton more videos coming up. This is not the last of me, this is just the beginning. Things are about to get really cool here on this channel, so make sure you subscribe so you stay in on the fun. I thank you guys so much for all of your continued support and amazing, amazing comments that you guys have left me. You have made this month so amazing for me. I appreciate you all so much more than you will ever know. Thank you so much and I will see you at my next video.